filming late at night. Well, that must mean that this is an important occasion. Oh, it's an important occasion, all right. Don't you just hate when you feel like you have to explain a purchase decision? Oh, you, you're thinking that I that I have to explain why I bought a Gelfire Mythic. Nah, nah, mate, that's not it. I feel like I have to explain why I bought two Gelfire Mythics. And yes, two of them. You're probably expecting me to say like I had a brand deal with Hasbro where they did a buy one, get one free or something cool like that. But no, it's, it's a lot more boring than that. This is my entire collection of gel shooters, and I needed a second one so that I could at the very least 1v1 with them. I'm not planning on developing a whole collection of these. These are mainly just for me and my family to play around with in the summertime, and it's pretty much universally known that this underperforms in comparison to some other gel shooters. So it's only fair to put two of the same thing against each other so nobody has an unfair advantage. With all that said though, I am shamefully and truthfully very excited about this thing. Not because I'm excited about the performance, but just because the blaster looks so ridiculously cool and there's no way that I'm not going to like it at least somewhat So I'm gonna move one of these blasters off screen and I will unbox it after this video But right now we're just going to unbox one of the mythics on camera. Let's get into it. The scissors are being revealed Let's just let's just jump into this if I can actually get the scissors in there, which they really don't want to. Ah, there we go. I'm probably doing this the dumbest way possible, but it's whatever. Put those over there and see what we've got. That's heavy and also very nice. Oh no, that looks really cool. Okay, um, let's move this aside. Look at this. It's really dense and also built super insanely well. All right, we'll take a better look at that in a second. Let's open up all of these accessories that it comes with. All right, here's the hopper. It looks very nice. It's very sleek, and the plastic is a little bit warbled. So you, look at my face. I look like a funhouse mirror, but yeah, that's that. If we take a look at this, though, you can see this got a USB-C charging brick. Here's the barrel, which almost looks like an N-Strike barrel attachment, but it's smaller, which is super depressing. We've got a whole lot of gel balls. Sick. And then we've got this. I don't even know how this works. Oh, I see. This is like a cap so that you can screw it on. And then there you go. Okay. That's pretty cool. And then this thing, I assume, is the battery. All right, screw it, just rip it. There you go, okay. There, now we've got. Yup, that's the battery. I've heard this is a lipo. Is this an actual lipo? Oh my goodness. It really is. Lithium polymer. It's not gonna focus, but just take my word for it. It says lipo on there. That's incredible. Hasbro actually released a mainstream blaster that takes a lipo and is powered by USB-C. That's just insanity to me. All right, I'm very excited about this grip. It's slightly rubberized, very, very minimally, but it is rub- That's a comfy grip. Hasbro! That's a comfy grip. That's a super good trigger. Oh, it's so clicky. It's so clicky. Oh my goodness. Okay, we do this, then we've got a stock, which is the perfect freaking length. Oh my goodness! Dude! Uh, update, I am an idiot. It also comes with instructions. Um, and the instructions, I haven't opened them yet or looked at them. That looks pretty cool. Uh, nothing on the back, it looks like. Even though it seems like it should be two-sided. There's the other side. Is that upside down? No, it is not. So, yeah. That's it, and they also give you glasses. I just opened both of them. So, if we do this, and then I put the muzzle on the other one. Oh, there we go. Then, um. Yeah, I don't care who you are. This is intimidating. And it looks cool. Oh my gosh! They painted both sides! They did it! Hasbro! You did it! You painted both sides! They painted the whole decal on both sides! This is historical. 
never in my life did I think that they'd actually do it. But they did it! Both sides! Oh, Supervisor, I'm so proud of you. I'm so proud of you. That alone makes it worth it. Yeah! Both sides! <laughs> yeah, but did it! <laughs> okay. I'm gonna go and charge these up. <laughs> I'll get back to it. Alright, so like this one time, I completely underestimated the severity of the situation I got myself into. And I forgot that, that these didn't take 12 hours to fill up. It's, it's the middle of the night. And they're ready right now. And I don't exactly want to leave them there overnight. So we're literally going to film the, the firing demo of this video in the garage before I even have a chance to review it. But first things first, I have separated the, the water from the actual rounds and good grief. They look very cool. And they're also super slippery, hence why I brought the hopper and the funnel in here. All right, so like this one time, I completely didn't know how on earth to do the firing demo for this video. So I just decided to shoot rounds at the shower because what could possibly go wrong? I have no plan at all. Literally no plan whatsoever. This might end up being the worst firing demo you guys ever see, but if it is, I, I'm, I'm sorry. Um, I'm gonna put the battery in, and we're gonna do a few semi-auto shots first, and then I'm gonna do the, uh, the fully automatic shots. So, let's try this. I'm literally just gonna shoot it the shower. So it's not already, it's just like, it's not working. It's actually really quiet, though it doesn't seem to be hitting very hard. I'm gonna do fully automatic now. I lied, it's very loud. And there's little pieces hitting my foot. It's really snappy and it's really satisfying. Not even at all. Like, I mean, my hand's wet, but that's about it. All right, that's annoying. It's got a cool down on the actual trigger. So like after you pull the trigger once, it's got about half a second of cool down on it, which automatically makes the semi-auto useless, unless you're just gonna be target shooting or plaking, but. Who uses these for target shooting or plinking? You can't even see the rounds. It's really fun though. I'm now just gonna do a few shots in its pistol form. This hopper is not very good, especially at this level. There just isn't enough pushing it down, so it ends up dry firing a lot. So pros, super fun, super satisfying. Um, cons, it jams every once in a while. And this is a nightmare. And it, it proceeds further than just, just the bathroom. Look at all the pieces they go all the way back to where i was firing from they have overtaken the whole shower and the bathroom floor i am so stupid why didn't i do this in the garage finally it's almost one in the morning i'm going to bed field run complete Let's get started. So this is obviously the Mythic, one of the most controversial Nerf Blasters ever released. And from a distance, you can't even really tell why. It's a gel shooter and it looks absolutely amazing, plus being advertised in a new Nerf Pro series, which is a really big deal because Nerf has never done anything pro before. But I figured I'd give this thing a fair review so I could maybe dabble on what makes it so controversial in the first place 
and why even despite all that it manages to be one of my favorite blasters ever. And all that starts out with the design which can be completed if you remove this muzzle piece and just don't worry about that for right now. This blaster, whether you love it or hate it, you gotta admit, is sexy as hell. It looks like a hobbyist blaster. It feels like a hobbyist blaster. It's tiny. It's really small. It's literally smaller than the Strife. Oh, you don't believe me that it's that small? It's smaller than the Strife. And yet it's managing to do so many things more than the Strife in a somehow smaller package. But we'll get into all that later. If you do put the muzzle back on it, which can be a little bit hard because it looks the same all the way around, it still looks really cool and it probably even looks cooler because of the added little muzzle piece. And also, one extra detail, both sides. I already freaked out about this yesterday. I don't need to freak out about it again. If we go down to the ergo of the Mythic, I'm gonna say something that sounds copy and pasted. This is the best grip I've ever used on any Nerf branded blaster ever, and almost any blaster of all time. It is big like a rival grip. It's super smooth and filleted. It has this wonderful texture on it. It's like a grainy texture, but then it has this smooth hexagon-like texture on the red parts, which just make it very nice on your hands. As for the foregrip thing right here, it's not the best, but it definitely gets the job done. It's a big enough place for you to put your whole hand on, or at least most of it if you have big hands. And because the trigger well is so big, your thumb can fit through it so you can hold it like a P90. As for the stock, it looks really short. That is one of the best things I've ever seen on any Nerf blaster. And now, it's the best length of any Nerf stock ever released. And it's big, and it's comfortable, and it's solid. It doesn't collapse in on itself. It's stable. It feels great to shoulder this. Like, I've never seen a better combination of ergonomics on any Nerf blaster. The only thing they kind of sacrificed was the foregrip, but that was just to make the blaster as compact and efficient as possible. I don't think Supervisor designed this. I think someone else designed this thing. My favorite part of the stock, however, is the way the extendability is integrated. Having this kind of thumb hole thing right here essentially means that whether the stock is out or in, it's going to be just as comfortable and easy to hold the grip. It's not going to change the way that you use a grip like a lot of extendable stocks do. Usually on a blaster, if you close the stock, it gets in the way of your wrist. Not this one, because it's fixed in place, and the stock disappears into the blaster itself, which is genius. There's only one thing that I truly don't like about the Ergo, and this is a problem that Nerf couldn't have fixed at all. There's literally no way they could have fixed this. The hole in the top of the stock, because it's kind of just two rails that go alongside all of the internals, it's genius, but it causes a gap so you can't really put your cheek on it because it's like putting your cheek on a hard rail. It's not comfortable at all but sacrifices have to be made, and I mean, they nailed every other part of the ergo on this, in my opinion. Besides, chances are you're not going to be shouldering it and trying to aim anyway, because this is another problem that they have. They, they included a hopper that you put on top of the blaster, and now you can't aim with it anymore, because there's a hopper that goes on top of the blaster and obscures your entire view of on top of the blaster, and I don't know why they did put a magazine or something going down through the grip. My brain hurts. I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. Now it's time for the part of the review that everybody's been waiting for where it gets really sad. How, how does it work? All right, I should probably give an explanation on gel rounds in the first place because it's not very popular even to this day. I'm not sure why Nerf started doing gel blasters, but whatever. First, you take a bunch of little tiny beads. They're super tiny, microscopic. Put them in water. Wait three hours. In three hours, you then put them into the hopper, and then afterwards, you're, you're ready to shoot. Um, you can't shoot them indoors, because they will hit the wall and explode, not only making the wall wet, but sending little pieces of the gel rounds all over the place, which takes you two weeks to clean up! Even if you do all that, you're, you're not going to be able to use it unless you charge a LiPo, which is an actual LiPo, and is powered by USB-C. Genius. It has an internal smart charger, which is just, it blows my mind the fact that that works. You put it in through the grip like a magazine would, which is just really, really cool. And then you take your filled hopper, hold it like this, flip the blaster over, and try to fit it in without spilling any rounds. And then you're good to go. 
Now the way this thing works is basically the same as a stampede or most airsoft guns out there, which is insanity to me. You have a big selector wheel on the back. You've got semi-automatic and fully automatic. You will never use semi-automatic, ever. And the reason for that is because, as you saw in my firing demo, that trigger as many times as I want, it's gonna shoot when it feels like it. As for fully automatic, it actually has a really good rate of fire. Seriously, I like the rate of fire on it. I can manage that. The selector switch wheel is also made very well and is very easy to twist. I like that a lot. <laughs> Ready for the fun part? <laughs> Everything I have said about this thing so far is null because this is a gel blaster. Let me explain what the significance is. This blaster shoots about 150 feet per second. That's really good, right? No, no it isn't. Because pretty much every other gel shooter out there shoots about 200 to 200 feet per second, or 250 feet per second. The reason for that is because gel rounds are small and not aerodynamic at all and they don't shoot very far before they lose all their velocity and just fall to the ground. Even though, I mean, technically they're very dense and they're very small, so it would theoretically be a really good ammo type. It, it, it isn't, there's a lot of issues with it, uh, but long story short, that 150 FPS basically translates to 70 FPS in the nerf field. And it underperforms in comparison to everything else. Which means that if you take this to any gel, gel shooter war, you're gonna get outgunned by anybody else on the field who isn't using one. And I don't care about the gel fire legion. There is no way any human being with more than two brain cells is ever going to unironically use that on the field for any reason other than irony. That is genuinely sad. And the reason why is because I love this more than every other gel shooter ever created. I prefer this design over everything else. Almost everything about the Nerf Gelfire Mythic is perfect for me. Why? Why, Supervisor, does it have to hit slow? The good news is you can get these on Amazon for $35 right now. I paid 70 for them at Walmart. But you've already seen the firing demo. What do I think of the Nerf Gelfire Mythic? Do I think you really should avoid this at any cost, or do I genuinely like it and think that you guys should pick one up? It depends. I did not buy this because of a competitive setting. I bought this because my dad and I want something fun to do in the summertime, and I think that gel shooters are incredibly fun in the summer because it gets you wet while still being able to enjoy a nerf battle. Plus, it doesn't hurt at all to be shot with gel rounds even at 150 FPS. So there's pretty much no downside to just playing around with these with your family. Plus, as I've said many times before, the shell is amazing, the build for this is incredible, and I can't find almost any complaints with it. I think the bulk of your $70 is just going into the magnificent frame this thing comes in, holy goodness. But yeah, it's not a very good performer, but it is very fun. And I think if you're not a super competitive person and you just really want a gel shooter for the sake of having a gel shooter to play with with your family, you could get a tremendous amount of enjoyment out of this just because of how enjoyable it is to hold and to play with. So the unpopular opinion in the room is right here. I like the Mythic, and I personally would kind of recommend it, unless you are actually going in this for a competitive setting. I'll link it in the description below if you want to buy one. With that said, subscribe if you're new, like if you enjoyed, and comment down below what do you think of the Mythic, and I'll see y'all next time. Bye!